Toby had read three volumes of it and created an Egyptian tomb in literally a fortnight. He did come up with the idea, you know, he essentially came up with the equivalent of a Batman or something, which is a pretty cool thing to have done. Let him tell you what was going on in that crazy mind is. Toby Gard, the creator of the most successful video game heroines in the world, returns to the gaming spotlights with his new creation, a game called Dream Cycle. Toby's previous two titles, Here They Lie and Ninja Gaiden Z, didn't really feel like a game created by the same person who created Tomb Raider. But in my opinion, that's about to change. Dream Cycle is the first ever title for Guard's new studio, Katuria Games, and I can tell you now that one of the most excited things in this project for me personally is that Toby hired Tomb Raider legendary composer Nathan McCree to work in this project. I've been playing for a couple of hours now, and even though there wasn't a lot of music in this early access of the game, you can already feel that this score could be just as good as any of his Tomb Raider soundtracks. You don't believe me? Listen for yourself. Just this little bit for some reason reminds me of the Snowmobile Escape song from Tomb Raider 2. To say that I'm exciting for this music is an understatement, but I wouldn't say the same about the rest of the game though. The story is kinda cool, as it is inspired by the dream cycle stories of Lovecraft that takes you to an adventure through a cursed and shattered world where you take control of Morgan Carter an arcane apprentice that walks the dreamlands in search of her great-great-granduncle Randolph, who has stolen her power in order to become a god. So you have to basically discover a way to get your powers back and defeat this guy in order to find a way out of this dream world. While this is not your AAA next-generation graphics game, the art of Dream Cycle is gorgeous, with a unique style that blends 2D line work with 3D rendering. However, it does look very empty with very few interactions with anyone. Combat in Dream Cycle kind of feels like a game from the PS2 or PS3 era with its primarily RPG and stealth based combat mechanics. I would say it has a mixture between Assassin's Creed and Skyrim's combat mechanics. But where the game actually proves to be quite good and unique, it's on its gameplay. Players can climb and teleport to reach new areas of the Dreamlands, find their objectives, and even sneak up on enemies, kinda like what we used to do in Final Fantasy XV. Ultimately, exploring and uncovering the mystery surrounding Morgan's appearance in the Dreamlands are definitely the primary focus in this game, and I would say that they do a really good job with it. Plus, all of this combined with music composed by Nathan McGree will almost certainly make players find themselves fully immersed in the dreamlands. Dream Cycle made me feel that there isn't a lot to do at the moment, but I can definitely see lots of potential here, and I'm curious to know what is that it can be achieved once its development is complete. But with that being said, Raiders, I want to hear from you. Is this game of any interest for you? And if so, do you think that it's worth playing at this current state? Or would you rather wait until it's fully completed? Let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, stay safe and until our next adventure.